OK, so if you read the slides, you can see the sort of content that we'll be studying throughout the course. Whilst you read the slides, I'd like to talk to you a bit about how taking philosophy and ethics will help you find out more about yourself and your understanding of your place in the world. OK, so that's what I'd like to do as you read the slides. GCSE Philosophy and Ethics will help you to explore your own identity. Through the different issues that we look at, you'll have the opportunity to explore who you think you are and who you think you might become. It'll give you the chance to develop a genuine self-understanding, understanding of yourself and what motivates you, and it'll lead you towards enhanced respect for yourself and your capabilities. The issues we look at will give you a range of opinions that will help you to understand who you are and how you see yourself interacting with the people around you and with your world around you. Now, we do live in a world of increasingly diverse communities. GCSE Philosophy and Ethics is a choice that helps us to understand our own and other people's cultures and to become more aware of cultural questions and to be more open to others and tolerant of the differences amongst the 7.7 .7 billion human beings on Earth. Through taking GCSE Philosophy and Ethics, you'll develop the ability to think deeply about your personal approach to living your life and the range of wonderful opportunities and experiences that life offers to us. It's a great choice for exploring yourself, for travelling inside your own inner thoughtscape and for understanding yourself and your place in our world. I'd like to speak a little bit about the, uh, the hard stuff, which is the GCSE results. Can we edit that stuff about hard stuff out? I don't like that phrase. I'd like to talk to you a bit about GCSE results. Okay? Now, the thing is, students who opt for GCSE philosophy and ethics with consistent work throughout the two years of the course, generally achieve one whole level higher than their starting target level. So, for example, someone whose target level at the start of year 10 is a level 6, they tend to get at least a level 7. Those who put in an effort consistently throughout the two years of the course can achieve up to three levels higher than their original target grade. Now, that to me suggests that they find the content of the course very interesting because it's about themselves and what they think about the issues that affect us in life. So I suspect they actually work harder in the course without it actually feeling like it's hard work. And that's what helps them consistently overachieve and exceed their targets. And I can say confidently to you that you could be one of those students who overachieves through taking GCSE philosophy and ethics. GCSE Philosophy and Ethics gives us an understanding of the life issues that we all experience, either ourselves directly or through those who are near to us experiencing them. Examples of life issues such as marriage, divorce, decisions about sexuality and relationships. The GCSE course in Philosophy and Ethics gives us the opportunity to explore our own attitudes and to extend our attitudes and to consider the attitudes of other people towards these important life issues. And in doing so, that helps prepare us for life itself. I hope you'll consider taking GCSE Philosophy and Ethics. If you have any questions, please do ask myself or Mrs Hobson.